Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 8.42 a.m. on Friday, April 17th, 2020. No breaking news today. Is it just me, or did this week fly by? I know how hard all of you worked, so I hope you enjoy a well-deserved, lovely weekend. Isabel, you're so cute! Oh my gosh! I love her, and I'm sort of disappointed we don't have a camper today, my friends, but I do have plans for that. All right, good morning and hello everyone. Welcome back to Wildberry Island. And as you can see, I'm wearing somewhat of a wild outfit. And that's because, carrying on with the puns, we had a wild time last night, you guys. Like, a wild time, it was amazing. For those of you guys who don't know, we actually had another stream. And because of the way that the Twitch rules work, I won't be able to share that stream with you guys until tomorrow. I have to wait at least 24 hours before I can show the stream on YouTube after it's been streamed on Twitch. But it was fantastic because not only did we have a meteor shower, which is why I am wearing this adorable new outfit I need to show all of you guys, but we also had Chips join us. And for those of you who don't know, Chips is now my husband. He has been my best friend, my companion in life, my, my wonderful love of my life for the last seven years. And we got married last week! We got married, we got married, we got married, we got married, we got married! Uh, as you guys know, since I have been talking a lot about it. And he actually showed up on stream and we wandered Wildberry Island, going ahead and wishing on stars, which we will collect the star pieces of on the beach in just a little bit, and um, showing off Chips' sense of high fashion. So definitely be sure to keep an eye on our YouTube channel tomorrow because that's when we will have the live stream archive go up. And definitely be sure to check out the link in the video description below so that you too will be able to join in on our future live streams because we're definitely going to be having a lot of them. That was just way too much fun and Chips had a good time. Everybody had a good time. Everyone was so nice to Chips and I and there were so many well wishes. And basically, we're going to make absolutely sure that we can do it again! So, definitely uh, join in on that if you're interested. But if, like me, you are a little shyer and you prefer your adventures more in a series like this, don't worry, we will still be having Wildberry Adventures here too. I just might have days where I have to catch you up on what happened uh, manually. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Alright, so... Ah, watering the plants to soothe my nerves and have a good start to the morning. Get our little pink tulips looking nice and proper. We have our beautiful purple tulip right over here, which was grown from the black tulips that we actually harvested off of a hybrid, or like a hybrid flower island. Ahem. Yeah, and let me catch my breath for just a second. But yeah, so guys, we have a lot to clean up from the festivities last night, uh, including the star pieces that will be lining the beach. And we actually have a lot of work to do here in our beautiful Wildberry Research Center, because if you notice behind me, there is another story on the house. We expanded our house thanks to the amazing tarantulas that were living in our attic that Sheldon helped me catch on that fateful island. And now we have a, a top story! We have a top story and I want to turn it into a library. I'm really excited about the idea of making a library upstairs and maybe we'll be able to like put all sorts of special items that we can give to the villagers as gifts. But we got the classic library wall as a wall that actually Skye taught us, which I thought was so much fun because she really loves to read books. So we're going to build a library up top and we're also going to try to fill that library with lots of books and bookshelves which we can give to the villagers. Uh, let's see, and where is it, where is it? I really, I think, did I, did I favorite it at least? Is it favorited? Oh no, it's not favorited! Where is my? Okay, maybe, oh, there it is! My tiny library! I wanna be able to build some tiny libraries and sprinkle them around the island to celebrate the idea that we have a gorgeous library in the attic of our wildlife research center that the villagers are able to use. Which is why we have been collecting a ridiculous number of books so that we can create not only the tiny libraries, but also, if I remember correctly, the library wall. 
because the library wall requires 10 books. So that's really, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, wait for it. <gasps> I knew it. I knew I heard a balloon. All right, come on down, friend. Let's go ahead and see what our first gift of the day is going to be. A nice and lovely balloon bequeathed to us from the sky. And it is iron nuggets. Okay, I can, I can put up with those. That's just fine. But all right, so let's go look inside really quickly and see what our new top story of our house looks like. It cost us 700,000 bells. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. But I think it totally is going to be worth it, especially... Oh, it's so big! Look at this, you guys! This is so cool! This is going to be the library space! I am so excited! This is going to be perfect! Let me show you guys the outfit I actually already prepared in it, the excitement of hoping for a library. I actually made a cute little librarian outfit! Ta-da! I love her! She's so cute! I can't wait until we can have a library in here. This is just with clothes that we had already shoved into the storage of our house, by the way. We might develop an even better library outfit in the future. Uh, so I think today we will tidy up everything left over from last night. We will go ahead and see if there's any special characters here. And we will go find... Dun -dun -dun! All of the star pieces and craft the special star piece item, the DIY item, that Celeste taught me last night, which I'll show you guys in just a little bit. And after we do all that, we will see about building the wonderful wildlife research center library. And eventually we might actually clean the house. We'll get there eventually. All right, let's check the mail real quick. Also, I do want to go ahead and get us a new mailbox today. I meant to do that on stream last night, but gosh, we ended up laughing about water bugs and wishing on stars and... I, I might as well get this over with. And also, showing off the outfits, the fashion outfit that Chips helped me create. Yes, behold everyone, my husband's fashion sense. It is truly a thing of high fashion and beauty. I just hope that Label will show up pretty soon so that we will be able to show off our high fashion sense to her. I'm sure she's going to be extremely impressed. But yeah, this is, um, <clears throat> this is the outfit that I unintentionally bought while laughing with Chips on stream last night and he had a matching outfit. So this is what you guys are missing if you're not joining us and this is what you guys will see tomorrow when we have the stream. I hope you're excited. Back to the stars. This is a cute little Celeste dress that we actually are wearing. It is a custom pattern that I found online. I'll see if I can find it again to share with you guys. It is so freaking cute. I love it so, so, so much. And this with the little astronaut helmet and some steel-toed boots are totally my defaults for being able to go and gather these star pieces now. Uh, but first we need to gather the mail. All right, what do we have here? Holy cow, this is holy moly. Holy canoodles, this is quite a few gifts. <laughs> um, all right, we've got things from Flick. We've got things from Sophia and Sheldon and the Happy Home Academy, a bunch of books. Let's go ahead and start today with the Happy Home Academy and Sheldon's uh, things. And then we will look at the gifts from Flick and all of the amazing patrons who have sent things as well in just a bit. So happy home academy first because we expanded the house. Siri, congratulations. To celebrate the new addition to your home, please accept this gift. It's to create a, a space based on your hobbies, whether you're surround, uh, where you're surrounded by things you love. Oh, thank you, happy home academy. And Sheldon sent us a gift, you guys, our little survival boy, Sheldon. You're kidding me, Siri. Two floors? That's mind blowing. You have got to get a hot tub and a sauna in your place. Can you think of anything better than a day at the spa after a workout? Because I can't. Oh, I got you something. Steamed Sheldon. Oh, thank you, Sheldon. All right. This is so fun to have so much mail. We definitely need to upgrade the mailbox because there's like so much of it. Sheldon got us a punching bag, you guys. <laughs> oh my good gravy. I think that this is not only really cute, but I think Pierce would love this. Our policeman Pierce. We totally have to give that to him. 
Sheldon, thank you. I'm very grateful. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Just a bunch of stuff left over. I found a cat nose in a balloon last night. And we're transformed, so I can't show it to you guys. Alright. Let's open up this. Huh. I'm beginning to be slightly concerned that we got both a punching bag and an exercise bike in the same night. What is everyone trying to tell me? Probably that they want me to be able to work out and be strong to go on lots of hikes. That's what we're going with. Also, I hear you. <gasps> labels here! You guys, labels actually here! We can show her my husband's high fashion sense. Yay! Yay! All right, I hear, oh, there it is! You guys, it's a red balloon! That's probably a DIY! All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of locusts flying around over there. All right, we're gonna have to wait for the balloon to arrive to us so that we are able to get whatever DIY it is hiding. Because usually the red balloons are supposed to be DIYs, but I'm also thinking that those are just like rumors, legends, myths that need busted. We'll water the flowers while we wait. There we go, guys. Aren't y'all looking nice? A few over here. Oh, I can't wait to organize our flowers and try to prepare for Earth Day. Holy moly! Get back over here, you big bug! Okay, actually, the balloon's in the right spot. <gasps> My slingshot! Okay, we'll have to make a new one before we get up to too much business today. All right, slingshot. What do we have here? Wall-mounted tool board. Hmm. I'm really getting the vibe that everyone's like, you should turn your attic into a workout center. Also, you should like build things. Well, I mean, I do appreciate having a tool board. We'll have to do something with it later. All right. Just to be safe, we're gonna go ahead and craft a new slingshot before we go and search the beach for all of the beautiful star pieces to collect up the pieces left behind. From Chips and I wishing on stars last night, I need to find some hardwood first. My goodness, it's always interesting to see where the tasks and chores every day in Wildberry will take us. All right, first things first, need some hardwood to be able to not miss out on any presents from the sky. All right, we'll pick up those later. And we'll come down here. And we'll talk to Label after we make the slingshot because I would love to know what she thinks of our high fashion. Oh, and we have some flowers right over here, guys. We actually have some very lovely and rare flowers. Our first lilies! I completely forgot to show these guys to you, but we have our very first lilies! And they're actually a gift along with these beautiful pink roses from the wonderful Olive! So Olive gave these to us uh, after visiting. She's one of our patrons and she popped over so we could exchange some flowers last night, which is just so delightful. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Label. Oh, we meet again. You know, there's still so much to learn about design here on Wildberry. In fact, I wonder if maybe you could help me with a little style exercise. It goes like this. I'll count. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds great, Label. I'd be happy to be your model. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. I'd like you to show me a sporty outfit. Try uh, clothes that are comfortable to move around in, or maybe something an athlete would wear. I'll give you some sporty clothing so you have an idea of what to, the look I'm going for. Oh my goodness. It's a tennis sweater. All you have to do is keep this piece in mind as you put together a sporty outfit. All right, we'll go ahead and try to like coordinate a cool tennis sweater. Thank you, Label. We'll try to get that done today. So we'll see what we have inside the house and try to coordinate that. I find it somewhat telling that this morning, everybody's like, go biking, Siri. Punch a bag, Siri. Have a toolbox, Siri. Hmm. Just a little suspicious. And then they're like, be sporty, Siri. Well, you know, it's good to try to, to increase your fitness. Whoops, I did not mean to keep crafting. Uh, it is good to try to increase your fitness so that that way we'll be able to explore Wildberry even more. But I, I do find that a little bit of an interesting conundrum to find myself in. All right, let's go ahead and drop. We're gonna pick up so that we stack it. 
and then drop some of the crafting materials, like so. Oh, there's no room to drop anything else. All right, that's fine. And let's go down and search the beach so that we can see what kind of glorious, beautiful star pieces that should be waiting for us after wishing on those stars last night. Ooh, and Pierce is in his house. We'll go give him the punching bag in a little bit. And look at this, our little mums are coming up. Yay! I'm so excited that we have our very first lilies too. Lilies are the flower that I absolutely couldn't find anywhere. None of my friends had them. Let's see. Where are the star pieces? <gasps> Yay! I was really worried we wouldn't have any star pieces at first, but there is a star fragment there. We need two more, one more star fragment. Yes! And there's the star fragment! Oh, that makes me so happy! But we have a really cool DIY recipe that we actually got from Celeste last night. And I want to show it to you guys, but we needed two star pieces. And lo and behold, thank goodness, that's exactly what we have here. Alright, one more happy little Siri picture. Do a little dance, do a little dance. I love the reflection of the sun on my helmet, by the way. That's, that's really amazing. Alright, and what DIY did we learn today? Let's see. Open this up. Yo, future DIY lover! I had a moment of clarity during a runner's high. It came up with the absolute coolest DIY idea. I got so psyched, I wrote out the recipe. Isn't that wild? Now go flex some DIY might. Muscular craftsman mott. <gasps> a pansy crown! Yay! That's so awesome! That's perfect! That is another flower crown to prepare us for Earth Day, you guys! With normal pansies! I am so grateful we actually can get our hands on those types of pansies. That's so fun! Oh, how many pansy crowns, like how many flower crowns do we have now? We have the pansy crown, we have the cool windflower crown, the cosmos crown, the cute rose crown, and the hyacinth crown. I think there are a lot of flower crowns because you can get them in the hybrid colors as well. Uh, but the pansy crown is definitely one of my favorites. The cosmos crown too. Oh, we're going to probably spend a lot of next week making enough flower crowns to give to all of the villagers. Oh, the, the, I was like, what's that noise? And it's actually the town clock was going off. But we will make enough pansy crowns to give to- Oh, I knew I heard it! That's why I was like, what's that noise? You guys thought that making the slingshot was taking up some extra time? That we didn't need to? Uh-uh. Get down here. I knew it. I knew it. I knew if I turned my back on, uh... Okay, it fell down there. If I turned my back on the balloons and was like, Oh, we just got two already. We don't need a slingshot. Pleather skirt. All right, I know what that looks like, actually. Haha! -ha. See, you always need to be prepared, you guys. Gifts from the sky. You never know when they might come by. Start your morning with a rhyme, why not? All right, let's come visit Pierce really quickly. Because I guess today is a very sporty morning. And then we'll go inside. We'll craft up the... Oh! <gasps> Julian! Hey, he's wearing the, he's not wearing the helmet that we gave him anymore. And instead he is wearing the ice skating outfit we gave him. Oh, I didn't know you were friends with Pierce too. Well, make yourself at home. <laughs> Glitter. All right, Siri. Who's your number one draft pick, me or Pierce? Whoa, don't answer. I was just messing around. All right, that's really cute. I didn't know these two were friends. You made it. Julian's here too, Hawkeye. Are you ready for a workout? You do look pumped, Hawkeye. Hey, speaking of which, Pierce... This is yours, friend. I'll have to give a gift to Julian as well so that he's not jealous, but let's go ahead and give him... Well, we've got an exercise bike. I think we'll give Pierce the punching bag and Julian the exercise bike. Why not? There you go, Julian. Or Pierce. I know that's really going to help you with your... Your job of being our sheriff, basically. Yay! Alright! And he just gave us a whole bunch of bells. Nice. Thank you. I have a million, like, bell debt to pay off now. Julian, how are you doing this morning? Let's talk, let's talk. Nice to see we're both on the VIP list. I love that these two are friends. I didn't expect that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and give him the exercise bike because I, I mean it's a sporty morning and we have Julian's amiibo card so we can always invite him back and fix his house if we like mess his house up. Hopefully he wouldn't bring the exercise bike. I can't wait to find just the right spot for it back at Casa de Julian. Nice! All right. They're both giving me some cash. Thank you guys. That's going to help to pay off the Wildlife Research Center. Uh, have a nice day. Bye. All right. Julian's enamored with that pot that I crafted for Pierce a while back. Man, I love our villagers, you guys, and I love our village. It's very messy, and there is definitely a lot to do, a lot to um, ahem, clean up here and there. But it definitely has a lot of love in it, that's for sure. All right, we're going to head in here. Let Tom Nook tell us about the huge loan that we now have taken out with him. And then we're actually going to... Hello, Tom Nook. Yes, our home has two beautiful stories. Yes, yes. The remodel, a million bells. I, I understand. I understand, Tom Nook. Oh, and now we can do replacement siding. Roof, siding, door, and mailbox. Changing these can make your home feel like it's brand new. Speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, but now you can change its location, too. Just pick up your mailbox and place it wherever you'd like. Oh, that's awesome! That'd be really fun to, like, put the mailbox at the end of a path or something. You know, when we eventually move the Wildlife Research Center. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk about the home. And I want to customize. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can customize. Because I want to do the mailbox since we've had so much amazing mail from everybody lately. Uh, we've got rustic mailbox. Oh, look at how cute you can do like a large mailbox. <laughs> that would be really appropriate for the Wildlife Research Center. But I was thinking maybe more just something like a nice little put together wooden mailbox. that looks like a little birdhouse. I think that's nice, because this is cute, but I really don't know if it's durable enough. There's the little green square mailbox. Ordinary mailbox. Let's see, I like this square mailbox, and I like the wooden mailbox. I think maybe to go with a sense of a new design, we'll go with the green square mailbox for now. Uh, oh, but before we place the order, let's look at the other things you can get. Common exterior. Oh, wow! Chalet exterior. Oh, cobblestone exterior. What? Oh my gosh! You guys, it's so cute! It is so cute. I love the cobblestone exterior. That's precious. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, the cobblestone exterior is definitely my favorite. I think the Wildlife Research Center... I mean, it could be green outside, but that makes it a little dark. I feel like that is actually really cute. And then what kind of door would I want on that? I would want to change the door. <gasps> a cute little beige door to go with it. Oh, be still my heart. I'm just so in love with this. Oh, you can do so much to change the look of your house. Like every little piece. I kind of knew that, but to see it all come together, it really just changes the entire experience. Cute little lattice door. I kind of want to do the lattice door because come on, we're on an island. That We should have really nice weather, right? Not changing the color of the roof. It's going to be green, Mr. Nook. It's going to be green. Oh, but you can change the style of the roof. Shingles. Oh, good gravy. You can do a cute little stone roof. <gasps> Thatching. Deep green thatch. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. This is so adorable. If only you could change the villagers' houses like this. So there's the green tile roof. There's that green roof. I kind of want to do like a green stone roof. You guys, let's do it. We're going to upgrade. I want to place this order. Only 5,000 bells to change all of that? Tom Nook, thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, that's going to be so exciting. I cannot wait to see how that turns out. So now we have changed up the mailbox. Oh, and because Annalisa has temporarily, don't worry, guys, I promise it's just temporary. She will be coming back. Also, that's so adorable that when we clap, they blush. But Annalisa will be coming back after she takes care of some business back at home. But because she moved out and her plot is now reserved for Margie, the elephant, who is her friend, who's going to be temporarily moving in, let's see if Annalisa left anything in the recycle bin. Cardboard boxes, cardboard boxes, cardboard boxes, 
cardboard boxes. <gasps> a pile of Zen cushions! Okay, so we got a pile of Zen cushions from Annalisa moving out. It could have been anything that she had in her house, and even the floor and the wallpaper. And don't worry, she'll move back in. Phew! All right, guys! Let's go ahead and go inside. I can't wait for the research center to have its massive upgrade tomorrow. That's going to be very exciting. And we're going to pop into our little crafting room. Full of cherry blossoms everywhere. Very messy. Eventually, we will have streams where we will clean these messes up, I promise. And let us go ahead and craft... Actually, I need more star pieces. I want to try crafting the wallpaper that Celeste taught us last night because I'm still in my little outfit of the stars. And I want to show it to you guys. So we're going to see what we've got. Here's my special room where I keep stars, the gold, all of the rare items, basically. And last night, Celeste actually taught us a very special astrology wallpaper, the sci-fi wallpaper, which so help me seems amazing. And a lot of people had really great ideas that this could actually be made into an observatory wallpaper. So we need to pick up our star fragments and one large star fragment. Let's go ahead and grab that. And this, we're going to craft this and we're going to see what it looks like. Because this is just so much fun. Hello, you two. I really love our little hamsters. I really look forward to the day that we'll clean up the house. Ah, there's so much to do. So much to do in the zoo and also so much to do on Wild Perry. All right, here we go. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool. It does have stars moving on the outside. Let's do it. Totally gonna craft up this sci-fi wall. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. All right, this is so exciting. And now let's go in and we're going to put it into the star room just to see what it looks like for a minute. We need to like add some sort of music player in the star room as well so that we can have like some really, some really nice like la 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 sort of music playing all the time. Let's go ahead and place this on the wall. <gasps> wow! Wow, look at this, you guys! This is really cool! I could totally use this in the laboratory! This is awesome! Alright, I love this. I really think that it's perfect for the science lovers amongst us. And it is definitely a piece I am going to be using in the future. So, highly recommend this amazing starry adventure. Uh, we definitely have some cool flooring pieces that could actually go with this, if I remember correctly. Just let's entertain ourselves. The future tech flooring actually would be a really good one to go on the ground here. Check that out. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, we're going to have a really good time with that. That's going to be fun. For now, we're going to leave the cloud flooring and the starry sky flooring, or starry sky wall up, I think. Man, I kind of miss the, uh, the cool sci-fi look, actually. Okay, I'm tempted to take the sci-fi stuff out again and have that up on the wall instead. Uh, and speaking of things that I need to take in and out of storage, let's actually drop these apples in there. I take them over to Chips and I's home island and I sell them to Tommy and Timmy over there. They no doubt make delicious applesauce with all of them and we make a lot of money. A lot of money. All right, let's see. Anything I want to keep? Pajama dress, cat nose, the fish door plate I definitely want to keep. Let's see, stones, the pile of Zen cushions. Let's see what that looks like. That's so cool. So this is Annalisa's pile of Zen cushions. We will see what she brings back with her when she comes back. I wonder if you can customize these. We'll go see if you can actually customize those Zen cushions. Uh, oh, and the wall mounted tool board. We haven't looked at that since it fell from the sky. Oh, cute. Useful. We can definitely do something with that in the future. All right, everything else is just stuff that we're like wait, waiting to give away to the villagers. And you know what? I do like the sci-fi wall, so I'm going to go ahead and put the sci-fi wall up for now. Just because it's our new special item. Very fun, very fun. 
<laughs> and we can work on trying to build up a little space area in the future. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. All right. So now that we've taken care of that, let's go ahead and actually change out of my current outfit. Searching for the stars. We'll have to see if we find more star pieces. Oh dear. And we're absolutely going to change out of this outfit too. Run for it! And we'll see if we can actually put on something that is going to reflect ahem, sporty instead of whatever that was. Because <laughs> that's more than mildly terrifying. Uh, also, we'll take out the leaf and the still-toed boots and let's put on a sporty outfit. Something that's easy to move around in. Do I have the tennis blazer by chance? Is that in here? Let's see. Retro sweater, jacket, sweater vest. All right, let's try putting the tennis thing away because that might help us out here. Pajama dress, retro sweater, tennis sweater. Let's put that in storage just to see if that helps. Rain pants, pleather skirt. Hmm. Let's see if we can become not whatever we are right now. A terrifying ghostbuster of doom. And let's see, where's the tennis sweater? Cardigan combo, tea parka, sweater vest. Oh, she considers this sporty, apparently. There's a pleather skirt, rain pants, worn out jeans. Hmm. Well... Do I have anything I would consider sporty? Retro dress, firefighter uniform. Hmm. The watermelon dress, which is so freaking precious. Zap suit. All right, guys. We're just going to grab what we have. Cross our fingers. We'll go see the Able Sisters really quickly. All right. This is an emergency. I don't think we're sporty enough. I think we have, like, sneakers. And, I mean, we have, like, an outdoor backpack we could put on. But I really don't think that we, we're sporty enough. So let's actually go talk to the Able Sisters and we're going to see if we can up our sporty game just a little bit more before we speak with their sister. Wait, where's my outfit? Curses! I want to take this off. I absolutely want to take off what I'm wearing. Trust me. It's not on the list. Not on the list, except for the leaf. I hope the leaf counts as something sporty because you're going to have to fight me about taking that leaf out of my mouth. All right, let's see. And then, let's see. Socks, 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 socks. Striped socks, maybe? And sneakers? All right. Okay, that's weirdly cute. But let's go ahead and see what happens. If we... We'll check out the Able Sisters and see what they have to sell real fast. Because, you know, we're trying to repair the relationship between the Able Sisters and their sister label. Cranston, you're still naked. Yay, it's chill. I overslept a little today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. Cranston, I love you. Let's go ahead and try giving him just any item. Like, whatever we've got. What do you think, you guys? Maybe we need to give him pants. Cranston, put on some pants. Or, Cranston, maybe put on this pajama dress. That actually would suit you pretty well. Come on, dude. Some clothes. Is this really a pajama dress? Maybe if we give him, like, clothes that are pajamas, he'll be willing... He Okay, that's a step up! He's not naked anymore, at least. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Alright, there you go, Cranston. The pajama dress looks great on you, by the way. And now he's at least wearing an outfit. It's a step up. Alright, let's go ahead and see if the Able Sisters have anything that could be called sporty today. And we'll talk to Sable because I've really been getting some amazing, just amazing conversations with Sable and Mabel about their history, about how they feel about their sister label, about how hard it was when their parents died when they were young. Oh, I, I need to make like a proper video about it because it is so sad. All right, there's seller style shirts. There's punk pants, which I don't think count as sporty in my opinion. Let's see, a tango dress, balloon hats, which I don't think count as sporty, cute little hairpin, which I don't think really counts as sporty, a reflector, square glasses, there's vivid socks? Those count as sporty-er than what we're wearing, I think. Okay guys, I think we're just gonna have to like, maybe get the vivid socks and 
That's all we got. Thanks, Mabel. I really appreciate you sending my socks back to the house. Uh, Sable, how are you doing today? Oh, Siri, I was hoping you'd come by today. I made a new pattern fabric for you to try out on your custom furniture. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sable. I don't know how much furniture you customize, but I hope this helps. Oh, that's so nice. And we just expanded our house. Oh, I love that she's so friendly. And you're able to get even more special items from her as time goes on. She's just the sweetest. All right, so let's go see how this qualifies as sporty. I hope we pass. It's literally all I've got, label. All right, what do you think? Let's see it then. Ah, hmm, I see. Yes, this is what I mean when I say I'm looking for a sporty style. What a superb combination of pieces. You've expressed the theme beautifully. Oh, thank goodness. Yay, all right. So she's going to send us Taylor's tickets to redeem with her sister and give them business. And a label cap. Oh, thank you, label. Okay, so hopefully she'll have this design sold at the Taylor shop and bond even more with her sisters. <laughs> okay, this is kind of a cute random sporty outfit. I'll take it. All right, do we have anything to give Sky, perhaps as a gift? Rain pants, retro sweater, tortoise specs, straw hat, that's my straw hat, diner dining, dining table, diner, ah, dinner table, uh, wall mounted tool board. I might give Sky the cat nose as like a joke. She's having a good time with Cranston over there. And let's see if we can actually customize the Zen cushions that Annalisa left behind. <gasps> you can! Look at that, you guys! So you can customize these Zen cushions. Oh my gosh. There's so many different things you can put on them. You can make them deep green. You could add cute little fishies. You could go ahead and do gold. You could have basically any custom design pattern on them too, which is really nice. So we could, oh, we could make them look like a bunch of folded up picnic blankets. <gasps> that could go next to our little picnic area. That's precious. Okay, so there's a lot that you can do with that pile of Zen cushions. That's really cool. All right, so let's wrap up the morning in a sporty way. I did not anticipate being sporty, and there's still so much to do in Wildberry. <laughs> but let's wrap it up in a sporty way by going ahead and visiting our villagers and seeing if anybody, like Puddles, or it looks like Kitty's home as well, are working on DIYs for the morning. Puddles! I knew it! Oh my gosh, I have such good taste. I'm a DIY trendsetter, don't you think so, Siri? Puddles, you are so cute. A mom cushion! <gasps> Puddles, you're getting ready for Earth Day. Okay, we're gonna make a mom cushion today, and I do already know how to make it, but we're totally going to get the DIY from her. I'm legit so sad you already knew. I was all set to blow your mind. Let's share the recipe with everyone else. This is so cool, because now, we have a very rare flower recipe to share with the world. Puddles, I am so grateful to you. All right, guys, this will be fun because I have been thinking about doing like fun giveaways, as I mentioned, of making a bunch of items and being able to share them with everybody. And being able to make the mum cushion is a perfect way of doing that. So I think we'll wrap up now that we know. Thank you very much, Puddles. Now that we know that Puddles actually taught us the mum cushion, and now that we're wearing our sporty outfit, I want my gardening outfit back. I really do. All right. Let's bury these bells. One second. Bury and hold. There we go. We'll move that in a little bit. But let's go gather up some mums, and then we- Oh, hey, Sheldon! What's up, buddy? Why am I the world champion in itchiness right now? Was there an event for this? Yowza! Oh no, he's covered in fleas! Sheldon, hold still! I can't see you because there's too many trees! A log round table outdoors? That's like outdoors squared! Okay, he really seems to be enjoying the, the like, wild outdoor area. We caught the flea! 
Was there a flea on me? I've been so absorbed in my strength training, I didn't even notice. Hmm. Guess maybe I should take a bath once in a while. Thanks, Cardio. Sheldon, that's adorable. All right, do I still have the judge's bell? Because I wanted to give Sheldon the judge's bell. Even though I'm so nervous because I don't have his amiibo card. And that may mess up his house. But let's take some deep breaths and let's risk it for friendship. All right, Sheldon. Judge's bell. There you go, buddy. What do you think? I absolutely love this sort of stuff. It's perfect for... Oh, we should have used the judge's bell over at our, like, survival course. All right, there we go. Hopefully he enjoyed that. All right, let's run up here. And actually, a flea is one of the creepy crawlies, passing the mums for just a second, that I wanted to add in to our special survival course. So we'll go ahead and we will actually drop the flea off over here so it can decorate the area. We'll also water all of our black tulips because we got the super rare, oops, we got the super rare purple tulip from these guys the other day. And I would be so proud if we had more rare hybrids to show off to Leaf when he arrives. All right, let's climb up real quick. And I think it's a great sign that we actually found a flower crown and we found a another recipe for the mums because maybe that is a sign my villagers are excited about Earth Day and Leaf arriving next week as well. The details of the event have not been released, but I, there are so many theories floating around about what it could mean to have Leaf come visit. All right, let's go ahead and place the item. The flea goes under a little cup. Isn't that so cute? And I know I would love to get our gardens organized before Leaf comes and to definitely put down a whole bunch of new spots where we will be able to enjoy the beautiful flower items. But let's see where is the gorgeous, there it is. So this is the mum cushion. In order to make the mum cushion, you need to have 10 weeds and you need to have at least three yellow mums. So let's go ahead and craft this up. One yellow mum, two yellow mum, three yellow mum, one yellow mum, two yellow mum, three yellow mum. All right, so now we've got enough to make two cushions and we need to gather up, let's see, it said 10 weeds, right? So we need 20 weeds. If we run out, we do still have more shoved into the corner of the attic in the house that we can totally get. Okay, nine, I'll go ahead and get 10. I like to leave some weeds down as decoration, but this is important. It's to create absolutely, oh, ladder, where are you? I need your help. There we go. This is to create absolutely vitally beautiful flower projects that we'll start putting around the village. We have brand new flowers that we got from our stream last night with Olive helping us out. And now we have got, dun dun dun. Now we've got some mums and we've got our black tulips. So I think we're, we're really doing well to convince Leaf to like come and visit with us. All right, let's jump across. Very nice. All right, and let's see what these beautiful mum cushions look like. All right, we're gonna craft them. And you can customize them! How exciting is that? All right, one mum cushion down! Oh, I have been really hoping to be able to make these. We're gonna have to pluck those mum flowers pretty often, but I don't think plucked flowers will actually make new flowers, so hmm, we'll have to be careful. All right, so we have the two mum cushions. You can customize them. Oops, no, I did not want to pick that up. That was an accident. Turn. Turn. There we go. Simple DIY workbench. There is two room. I promise you there is room for the DIY workbench. Perfect. Pick up the customization. And let's see what colors we can make the mums. And then we will put the adorable little mum pieces down. Mum cushion. So you can make it yellow, red, or white. Oh, those are so pretty. Let's make a white one. Oh, you guys, these are gonna be like chairs that the villagers will be able to sit on. And they're so cute. They're little flower cushions. Okay, that makes me very happy. All right, where should we put them for now? Maybe over here. 
and we will start changing up this area from being all about bunny day and we'll put away the bunny day decorations and start working on putting out flower potting things so we can make it so the villagers could start working on adding in some lovely flowers to their own homes that'll be so fun <gasps> look at that mum cushion i am so in love they're so cute they're just like giant flowers all right that's fantastic that makes me very happy hang on i thought i heard it okay it's not here all right well guys those mum cushions are perfect i really think that now is the time to say goodbye to bunny day so let's take these down and we're going to start figuring out what we can put down to really celebrate the glory of Earth Day. So if you guys have some fun Earth Day ideas, do let me know because I think we're going to start setting up special little Earth Day parks everywhere and special items that our villagers can enjoy sitting on because this is so cute. We're going to get these giant flowers spread everywhere. It's going to be fantastic. And we'll work on making proper little hybrid gardens. But all right, let's go ahead and see what gifts we have actually gotten from some of our amazing patrons. And then next time we'll have to work on the library if we have a moment to be able to do that. All right, oh, and Flick also sent us, oh, of course, the peacock butterfly. That's a perfect addition. We can set up a little section to talk about how important pollinators are. Of course, it makes so much sense. All right, bunny day stool, bunny day stool, wobbling zipper toy, mounted, oh, there it is, there it is. It's inside the present. And, yay, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm very happy. We're gonna get all sorts of special Earth Day decorations set up. This is fantastic. All right, let's come over and see what gifts have been sent. And then tomorrow we will even be able to celebrate not only the wonderful arrival of the stream that you guys will be able to see, but the upgrades that we will have done to the Wildlife Research Center. So let's see what we've got. Down here from Morning Dew, Backlog sends a gift and says level up. And Aries horns. All right, let's go ahead and see what these two are real quick. Thank you very much, Backlog. <sighs> All right, curly mustache. Thank you, Backlog. This is indeed a level up, and I happen to know that a certain wonderful Chips would be delighted to have additional facial hairs that he'll be able to use on his uh, very handsome face. So, thank you very much for this. I, I know somebody who's going to love it, and it'll be perfect for any work that we need to do in the future. Also, what the heck? <gasps> I didn't know I needed this in my life, but it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna have a really hard time getting over how cute this is. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect for Leaf Day too. A uh, Leaf Day? Now I'm just calling Earth Day Leaf Day. Also over here from Wesley, she has sent us a shiny new sand castle. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. From Lima Cove. That's going to be fantastic to put down. And then we also have this from Sophia. I always give all my new friends this, so I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you so much for the black tulips. I will definitely put them to good use. Thank you, Sophia. All right. So what do we have here? We have got from Wesley a shiny new sand castle. Ta-da! which we will definitely decorate to celebrate our fishing tourney. And then this, no, I dropped the present. I love how it's wrapped in green. It's the little details that really add up. <gasps> oh my gosh. I am a queen now. Where's my royal outfit? I gave it to Chips, I need to be wearing it. Okay, we're gonna show up and we're gonna be like, yo, Leaf, check us out. I am so excited. This is perfect for Earth Day. But alright guys, this was a very unexpected morning. Extremely sporty outfits that we were putting on. Uh, a lot of tidying up to do to prep our village for the loveliness that will be Earth Day. Very excited about all of the new items that we currently have. Very grateful for the amazing patrons that we have supporting us practically with being able to keep the Pixel Biology channel going and also on a personal level by going ahead, let's grab this bee, 
No, the bee got away from me! <laughs> and also on a personal level with such sweet gifts. If you guys could, do please leave a like to help us support our wild berry adventures. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Peacock butterfly! And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!